Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to start with number 19 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. This is all part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series designed to review some of those core concepts that are going to be on your teacher certification exams. This one is from an elementary math practice test in California, the CBEST. It's a good one to review some of those core math concepts on elementary math exams. So let's take a look at number 19. All right, here we go. Number 19. What is the tens digit in the dividend of the problem below? And they give us this problem. It has a bunch of components. The dividend refers to this number here that's being divided by the 25. So um, whatever number this is, we usually we read it as this number divided by 25. Um, and it says here that that 25 goes into it evenly five times and has a remainder of 23. We've got to find that unknown digit. Um, there's a whole bunch of ways to think about this. Uh, let's say I had this, this number here, 103 divided by 10. Now most teachers would be like 103 divided by 10. It goes in 10 times, right? With, uh, and we would say a remainder of three. If I wanted to find out what this number is, let's say it, it was not there. Somehow it was crossed off, which I'm not going to cross it off because I want you to remember that it's 103. But let's say I like, kind of crossed it off so that you couldn't kind of see it, but you still can see it. But let's say you couldn't see it. And you just had this, divid this dividend is um, divided by 10, and it, 10 goes into it 10 times with 3 remainder. And I wanted to find out what that number is. All I would have to do is do 10 times 10 and get 100 and add the remainder. And that's going to get me the dividend that I'm, div that I'm dividing 10 by to get a remainder of 3. So we could use that same type of thinking that to sort of work out what that number is and then identify the, the digit in the tens place. So that step was you take the, what you're dividing it by, multiply it by the number of times it goes into it. So that's 5 times 25. You can do that out on your side of your page. Hopefully you're doing it out right now, but I'm hoping that as you do it out, you're very careful in these calculations so you get to your 125. I, I, get, I do that calculation, then I add the 23 to it because that's the remainder, the part that's left over, and you get 148. So 148 is your dividend that when you divide it by 25, 25 goes into um, 148 five times with 23 remaining. And you could check that, or you could just do this method here to get to the 148. And the t digit in the tens place, the tens place is the 4, or 40. Um, but the digit itself would be the 4. So the answer here is C. Team, sometimes it's good to uh, practice this one with a bunch of different numbers. So, so test out. You know, see what happens when you when you look at this number here, and that's a. Uh, you could do it with a bunch of different ones. See how you can work this out, because you'll see other problems like this that are, that get much harder, and uh, you, you're going to want to be comfortable with uh, these type of operations. Okay, all right, team. The answer is C. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a wonderful day. Take care.